Hello and welcome to Code with Joe. Today we get I have here a really simple beginner tutorial for you guys. So what we do is we basically track the location of the International Space Station and then we draw here the our space station on a world map to see where it actually is. And so when I run this, we can see down here we update here the coordinates of the of the space station. So we get here latitude and longitude and then we draw it here on the map so we are currently a little so next to east of uh, Argentina so above the Falkland Islands and yeah the great thing is here we are using Trinket so you can just copy the link is in the description of this Trinket it comes with the imports already uh, set up so you don't have to do anything you can just click on the link and then you can this trinket opens and you can start programming. Uh, as I said, this is a completely beginner friendly tutorial. You will learn how to use APIs to do API calls and then use the API calls in a Python script. For ex we in, in this case, we use your map and draw it on. So we fetch latitude and longitude and then draw it here on our map and the and after we have done this, we draw the location of our International Space Station. Then we will set here coordinates. This is here the coordinates of the NASA in Houston. And then it gives us the time when the space station moves above this location. And this is what we're going to build. So as I said, the so this code is already prepared for you. You just have to click the link and then we can start coding. So I'm going to remove all of this stuff here. And so what we can do is, so the first thing we do is we want, we have here an URL that gives us the location of the International Space Station in a JSON, uh, JSON format. So we have here the position and the position is divided up in latitude and longitude. So when we run this uh, URL, we get always this response, this JSON response back. So when I up refresh it, so we can see the coordinates have changed. We also get here a timestamp and this is what we use in the, when we actually want to find out when we fly across a certain position. So I have the link also in the description and we can use this in here in our script like this. So we create a, a variable and we call it URL. Then inside of a string, we paste in here the URL. And then we have to convert this into a JSON object and then we can use it as a Python object. And we can do this like this. We can set here. So I'm going to copy this actually. So it can work a little bit faster. I'm just going to explain what this does. So first of all, we get here a, we have our URL. Then we create a response variable. And with your URL lib.request.url open. And we pass, paste in here the URL. So we pass in here the URL and this turns it into a Python object, but we cannot really do anything with it. Let me show you when, what happens when I print the response. I'm going to comment this out, then we run it. So we just get here a response back. So we have to actually convert this into a JSON object and then we can work with it. So I'm going to remove this print statement here. And so we get, we have here our result and we convert this here into a JSON object. And then we get back here. When I run this, we get back nothing. So I actually have to print here the result like this. And then we get back here the same JSON object as we have up here. And now we can actually convert this into, so we don't have to convert this, but we can actually extract the information from this JSON object. 
like this so i'm going to copy this one as well so we get back here our json object and then we can access here the iss position like this so we create a variable and we call it location is result then we have to inside a string we have to use as a key value here the iss position and then we can access latitude and longitude like this so for latitude we have to use a float because as you can see this is not just an integer this is a float so we have to convert this into a float and you see the location the location is the iss position and then we can for pass in pass in here the latitude and we can also pass in the longitude and we can print this like this print and we write here a string for latitude colon and with comma we write here let then we do the same here for longitude like your colon space and we write here the variable of the longitude and then we can print it and now we get it back uh, nicely formatted here the coordinates of the international space station so the next thing that we do is we want to actually draw here a map so we can track where the international space station moves around and i'm going to copy all of this here as well so and first of all we have to set up here a turtle screen we can do this with screen is turtle.screen then we have to initialize the screen then we set the size of the screen with screen.setup i'm using 720 and pixel by 360 pixel and then we set here the world coordinates this means so whenever we run the run this program uh the 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 drawing of the international space station will start in the center of the map and then it moves to the actual latitude and longitude that we get back from this url and the last thing that we do is we have to actually draw our map and we can do this with screen.pgpick and then pass in here the gif of the world map that we have and this comes already all included here all the images that we use out throughout this tutorial comes already pre-installed with the string cat that i have prepared in the comment in, so in the description of this video so you don't have as i said you don't have to install anything you don't have to upload any images and then when we run this we get here our map and then we can start drawing our space station so we have to i'm going to copy this here as well i'll just go over with you what we do here so we have to register here a shape for first of all we have here the iss.gif so this is the image of the international space station so it's a cartoon image then we have to initialize it with turtle.turtle .turtle. then we have to set the shape the shape should be the same as the registered shape here and then we set the heading i will explain in a second what the heading means once we actually draw out the draw the space station onto the map and with iss.penup we this is where we actually set the you know draw the uh the space station the image onto the world map and then we go to longitude and latitude and this looks like this so as you can see we start so this is the image of the space station it starts out in the center of the map and then we go to we going to this location here latitude and longitude that we fetch from this url and what me, what said heading means is as you can see now the images so it looks like kind of a face our space station so we have here the mouse and two eyes and with 90 it actually faces us you know with the 
mouse on the bottom, but we can also change this here to 180. And you can see we move the, we actually move this, the space station around. So we can use 270. Now it's this upside down, but we use 90, so it's facing us as it should. Uh, if you wonder where we get the images from, they're up here. So as I said, these, com these images come already pre-installed. You can use here uh, another image, so I can show you this as well, iss2.gif. So let me go back to the code. So then we can actually change the image of the space station like this. And then we have a different image for our space station. You can also upload your own images to here. Just follow the instruction here and then, you know, once they are uploaded here, then you can use them inside of your script. So you can also use the rocket ship .gif. So let me go back to the code. So first of all, we have to initialize it. So register it. And then we have to draw it rocket ship. And then we have a rocket ship as our international space station. But I'm going to change this back to iss.gif here as well and now we can continue so now we get here the location so we fly our space whenever we run this the spaceship flies to the current longitude and latitude and what we can do next is we can actually find out when the international space station flies over a certain location for this we can also create here latitude and longitude again so we can just write, keep writing down here. So this is, as far as I know, the locations here of the, what is this, the NASA in Houston. And then we do the same up here. So we have to draw the location onto the map. And we can do this like this. So we have to initialize our location first. Then we actually create here a pin for our location we can set the location here to yellow you're going to see this in a second then with location go to this is we pass in here the latitude and longitude so this is where we specify where this uh location is that's so the pin that we are drawing and so we draw actually a dot and yeah this is it so when i run this so you can see we have hit our dot the yellow dot we can change this to blue as well if you we want to with the locations that we specify up here so when i run this now we have a blue a blue dot you can also change it to red or whatever color you want to use i'm going to use yellow because it's a little bit better to see so I run this and with location high turtle, this means as you can see, when we run this, this, it moves, so this, it also starts here from the center and then it moves up here and with high turtle, we just hide the, the way up the, how you can, the, the drawing up here, you know, as you can see. It moves from the center up here but you know we remove the this i don't know how you call this you know until we get there so this is all what height turtle means so if i'm yeah i'm not going to do this you can play around with this and the next thing that we do is we actually want to find out what time it is that we pass so that the international space station passes over our specified point here so we can do this there is another api call that we can do i'm going to copy this and so we can when we passed in this url into the browser now we get an error because we have to specify the latitude 
and we can do this here in our code so we have again our url that gives us the exact location so they so nasa or whoever does this or whoever runs the api already has calculated the times whenever we fly over a certain location on this planet and all we have to do is add here to this url latitude and longitude so they can actually calculate when we fly over this location and we can do this like this url is url so we use this url and then we append latitude and we have to convert our latitude into a string and append it to the latitude and then we do the same for longitude we also have to convert the longitude into a string and then we can append it here to the longitude then we have to do the same we have to open up this url convert this into a python object then we get back a json response and we have to convert the json response into some and then you know we have the json response and then we can actually work with it and when we do this we can get the time when we fly well, so when the oops what happened here so when we want to get the time when the space station flies over this location we have to do create a over variable we call it we set it to result actually you know what i'm going to show you first what we get when we print the result so as you can see here when we print the result it gives us this json object here and it comes with time it says how many times it passes the altitude so how high the international space station is when it flies above this location and we get up uh, you know this information here but all we want here is we want to get the the rise time so this means when we actually pass over the next time and we can do this we have to so as i said we have to create here a variable over is result and then we have to get out so extract the rise time so first of all we have to get the response then from the response is the response that we get so we the first is the request but so we have here the response and then we want to get the duration is so zero would be the if we pass it, if we write in here zero this will get the duration but we want to get the rise time so we have to set it to one and then we have to actually specify the rise time like this and then we can print and when we run this again this gives us the exact time when we fly with the space station over this location but this is in epoch times and we can convert this to a uh, human readable time like this so first we have to specify a font and we can do this with style is let me set this to Arial. then we set the size and then we set set it to bold and then we convert our time so location dot write so we want to write on the so we want to write here next to our location we got here the location variable and then we write next to this location here with location dot write and then we use time dot c time then we use the time that we get from over and then we specify the font is equal to style 
and then we can run this again and now we can see it on march the 8th at 7 a.m the international so almost at 6 59 a.m the international space station flies above houston and this is it already how we can track the international space station and this was part one of this video and in part two we will build something great something similar as you might know if you're familiar with cryptocurrencies a lot of projects do airdrops but we're going to do space drops and what we do is we will build an interface where actually a user can paste in, paste in the his latitude and longitude and whenever the international space station flies above his location then he gets my token the code with joe token airdropped so be sure to stay to stay subscribed to my channel and yeah so that you don't miss out when i release part two of this tutorial now when i may currently upload this video today on march i think it's march the 7th right now i don't know when i upload it but it will be definitely soon so i don't know when you watch this video part two might be already up so yeah definitely check this out as well okay guys this is it this is how you work with apis and this is how we can track the location of the international space station and draw it onto a map i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something and as i said check out uh, the description of this video for all the links to this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon in the next one bye